My Weirder School, Book Number Six. Mayor Hubble is in trouble. Written by Dan Gutman. Pictures by Jim Pilot. Chapter One: The Return of Mr. Wiggles. My name is AJ, and I hate ferrets. Did you ever see a ferret? They are these disgusting brown animals that look like long, skinny rats. My friend Neil, who we call the Nude Kid, even though he wears clothes, has a pet ferret. His name is Mr. Wiggles. Last year, Neil brought Mr. Wiggles to school on Crazy Pet Day. He escaped from his cage and climbed into a hat that belonged to this crybaby girl named Emily. While it was on her head, Emily freaked and went running out of the room. It was hilarious. You should have been there. We saw it live and in person. This year we didn't have Crazy Pet Day. We had Adopt a Pet Month. My teacher, Mr. Granite, said we could bring in a pet, and each of us would have to take it home for a night to take care of it. Okay, who brought in a furry friend today? Asked Mr. Granite, who is from another planet. I forgot. I said. I forgot," said my friend Ryan, who will eat anything, even stuff that isn't food. I forgot," said Michael, who never ties his shoes. I forgot," said Alexia, who is a girl that rides a skateboard all the time. In case you were wondering, everybody was saying they forgot to bring in a pet. Except for one person, Neil the nude kid. I remembered," shouted Neil. He took Mr. Wiggles out of his cage. Ugh! It was disgusting. He's adorable," said all the girls. "Kill him!" yelled all the boys, except for Neil. I'm scared," said Emily. Who's scared of everything? What can you tell us about your ferret, Neil? Asked Mr. Granit. Well, when Mr. Wiggles gets excited, he starts hopping sideways and bumping into things. Neil said, "It's called the Weasel Word Dance." That's interesting," said Mr. Granit. Does anyone else know anything about ferrets? Ooh, ooh," said Andrea Young, this girl with curly brown hair. She was waving her arm around like she was trying to be rescued from a desert island. Andrea is so annoying. In her spare time, she reads the encyclopedia for fun. Male ferrets are called Hobbs, Andrea said, and females are called Jills. Very good, Andrea said, Mister Granit. Why can't a truck full of ferrets fall on Andrea's head? What do ferrets eat? Asked Emily. They eat girls named Emily. I said, Eek. Emily screamed, and then she went running out of the room. Sheesh! Get a grip. That girl will fall for anything. Emily is weird. So are ferrets. Chapter two: The Shut Up He Sign. Neil put Mr. Wiggles in his cubby, and then we pledged the allegiance. Okay, let's get to work, shall we? Said Mr. Granit. We're way behind and have a lot to cover, so turn to page twenty-three in your math book. And Mr. Granit 
didn't get the chance to finish his sentence because an announcement came over the loudspeaker. All classes, please report to the all-purpose room. Not again, said Mr. Granite, slamming his math book shut. We had to walk a million hundred miles to the all-purpose room, which is a room that is used for all purposes, so it has the perfect name. There were flags, banners, and red, white, and blue stuff all over the place. Nobody knew why. I had to sit next to Andrea. Ugh, disgusting. Everybody was talking, so our principal, Mr. Klutz, made a peace sign with his fingers. That means shut up. Everybody stop talking. Election day is coming up, said Mr. Granite, who has no hair at all. To help you learn about democracy, we're going to have elections at elementary school. Each of you will get to vote for one of your classmates to be president of your grade. Doesn't that sound like fun? Yes, shouted all the girls. No, shouted all the boys. Then Mr. Klutz told us about democracy. In a democracy, he said, all people have an equal say, blah, 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 equality and freedom, blah, 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 liberty, blah, 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 constitution, blah, 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 majority rule, blah, 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 the right to vote, blah, 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 freedom of speech, blah, 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 and whoever gets the most votes is the winner. While Mr. Klutz was talking, kids started making faces, doodling in their notebooks, and shooting rubber bands at each other. I thought I was gonna die from old age. But you'll never believe who came running into the door while Mr. Klutz was talking. Nobody. It would hurt if you ran into a door, but you'll never believe who came running into the doorway. It was Mayor Hubble. I thought Mayor Hubble was in jail, whispered Andrea. He was. What happened? was that gold had been discovered in our playground and Mayor Hubble tried to steal it, but he was caught and sent to prison. We were all surprised to see him. He came bounding up onto the stage, followed by three bodyguards. They were big guys with necks that were almost as thick as their heads. Mayor Hubble, said Mr. Klutz, to what do we owe the pleasure of your company? I thought you were in jail. I got time off for good behavior, Mayor Hubble said, so I'm running for mayor again. I hope all the parents of your students will vote for me. He made peace signs with both hands and waved them in the air while everybody clapped. Why is Mayor Hubble making the shut up peace sign? I asked. That's not the shut up peace sign, Arlo, Andrea said, rolling her eyes. She calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. He's making the V for victory sign. It looked just like the shut up peace sign. If you ask me, they should have three different signs for peace, victory, and shut up. It would be a lot less confusing. I made a peace sign and stuck it in Andrea's face. But it didn't mean peace, and it didn't mean victory. Chapter 3 Rule the school.
Later, we were having lunch in the vomitorium. That's a room that used to be called the cafetorium until some first grader threw up in there last year. Andrea and her girly girlfriends were sitting at the table next to us. Me and the guys let Alexia sit at our table because she's cool. Guess what? Andrea said really loudly, so everybody would have to hear. I decided that I'm going to run for president of the third grade. All the girls were hugging her and telling Andrea that she would make a great president. After I win the election, Andrea said, I was thinking that we should have a dress code at elementary school. If we all wore uniforms, it would be easier to pick out our clothes in the morning. That's a great idea, said Emily, who thinks all of Andrea's ideas are great. I really think we can make this school a better place said Andrea. Hey, if you want to make the school a better place, I yelled to her, why don't you switch to another school? Oh, snap, said Ryan. That's mean, Arlo. After lunch, we went outside for recess. The guys and Alexia pulled me over to the corner by the monkey bars where Andrea and her girly friends couldn't hear us. The president rules the school, you know, said Michael. I don't want Andrea being in charge. I don't want to wear a uniform, said Alexia. Andrea will probably turn the school into a prison, said Ryan. It's gonna be horrible said Neil the nude kid. We need somebody to run against Andrea. Yeah, everybody agreed. I looked around. Michael was looking at me. Ryan was looking at me. Alexia was looking at me. Neil was looking at me. Everybody was looking at me. What are you looking at me for? I asked. You should run for president of the third grade, AJ, said Alexia. Yeah, everybody agreed. Why? I asked. I don't want to be president. That's for nerds. AJ, if you don't run, Andrea will become president, said Michael. She's going to make us wear uniforms and turn the school into a prison. She'll probably close the boys' bathroom and make us hold it in all day, said Ryan. So why don't one of you guys run? I asked. You're the only one who can beat her, AJ, said Neil the nude kid. Well, I don't want to run, I said. AJ, said Michael, if you don't want to run against Andrea... That means you must be in love with her. That's right, everybody agreed. What? I shouted. It does not. It just means I don't want to be president. Ooh, Ryan said. AJ doesn't want to run against Andrea. They must be in love. When are you and Andrea... Gonna get married, asked Michael. Shh, I said. Okay, okay, I'll run for president of the third grade. If those guys weren't my best friends, I would hate them.